diva dog. Definitely. Yeah. What kind of dog is that? It's a Chinese rescue dog. That's a rescue dog? Yeah. It's just a basic dog. Yeah. Are you videoing, videoing this or? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh. Oh. A lot of cute dogs. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Hello. Beautiful dog. Does he like the sunglasses? Uh, he he puts up with them. We're not sure if he just yeah, likes them. but he yeah. but he doesn't seem to fight you on it. He's no, no, very... no, no. But every time he gets an itch on the on his face, it, he just pushes the back and just scratches that. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I mean, when itch itches, itches. It itches. Yeah. yeah. What a beautiful dog. Thank you. Amy and this is Callie. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay, you've got clipboards here. Yes, and we have official looking name tags. Official name tags. Oh, wow, yeah. All right, what are you doing? We are judging for best in show, first, second, and third place for two dimensional and three dimensional artwork. And we're looking for original arts or crafts and people with telling their story through their, their artwork. So most of what I'm looking at here is original? Mm, yes, most of them. Most of them. Most, most all handcrafted and original. Now, now two-dimensional, I guess, is just art on a frame or something. Yes, just flat. something I look at. Now, three-dimensional is a, a, what is that? I mean, that's a uh, cabinet or something? Or? Yes. It could yes. be a sculpture, a table, knife, a knife. Like turn bowls. Saw. All right, I'm out here. What What is there a must I must see? What, what do you recommend? What is something you have to see? <laughs> there is a gentleman from Blairsville who has some hand pieced baskets that are made with different types of wood. It's echo his baskets. design. They're called echo baskets mm -hmm. and never seen anything like that before. It's his own design. It takes him about four and a half hours to put each basket together. Priced wow. very reasonably. And um, this gentleman to our left has some handmade knives with some um, Really cool forged, um, so he, forged he, blades. He makes them himself. I mean, both these blades. Yes. Yeah. What a neat gift to have. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There's, there's um, a folk artist over here with some some really interesting folk art. Just using, talk to him. Um, Just got got some roofing tar involved in his media. Some roofing tar. Roofing tar. <laughs> which is uh, an original media to me. Anyway. And this is the 42nd annual. Yes. Y'all do this every year. Well, for the last two years. <laughs> nice to meet you both. Thank nice you. Thank you so much. Okay, this is some of the most unique baskets I've seen. What are they? What's your name, first off? My name is Tommy, Tommy Keith. Nice to meet you, Tommy. What is this? What is this made of? Let me let me show you if I may. Okay. I have two different size baskets. This large size and a medium size. Okay. Now this large size. I use five different types of wood. This is red cedar, this is mahogany, poplar, cherry, and walnut. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll follow a color sequence when I make the basket, mm -hmm. and it develops a pattern to it, if you can see that. I use the same wood for the base, so it all goes together, but I love the variegation in the, the wood, the, the knots, the grain, it gives it all its own character, its own personality. It's beautiful. There's no nails, no brads. Mm -hmm. I finish them off with a coat of furniture lacquer, the same type of finish that's on your furniture. Mm -hmm. And they'll, they'll keep forever. Isn't that beautiful? It is. It really is. Uh, yeah, let's say it's unique. Just Okay, now what does something like that go for right there? This size here is 55. This medium size is only 45. Now I have some that's a little bit more pricey. This, like this is mahogany, it's going to be a little bit more. Okay. This is uh, 65. It seems very well worth it for all the time. It, it, it is. Just, it, it, it is. I, I'm retired. Right. And it's it's a hobby. I enjoy doing it. I have one here that's solid walnut. Mm -hmm. In a large size. It's yeah. very regal looking and. That is nice. Rich looking. Now this is 85. That's 85. 85, but. Walnut, you know, is more expensive than regular wood. Right, right. So, 
is priced accordingly, mm -hmm. but not overpriced either. Mm -mm. No, I don't think so at all. No, I would, I would have guessed a lot higher. Do you travel? Do you uh, go to all the different shows? Or is... We go to a lot of different shows. I have these in a lot of uh, gift shops okay. in North Georgia. Yeah, it's a serious business for you. I mean, you're you're. This is what you do. No, I'm retired. Oh, okay, okay. I'm retired. People say, this Tommy, is hobby. this is it's my <laughs> hobby. Yeah, I enjoy working with wood. Right, keeps me busy. So when do you do this? When do you have a shop, or you do it in front of you while you're watching TV, or how do you? Well, I'm on my back porch. On your back porch. On my back porch. <laughs> you're making baskets. Beautiful baskets. This is. Well, how do people reach you? I have a a card where people can reach me. What's a uh, phone number or something? Phone number is 706-897-8898. Nice to meet you. Or, or you can go on Facebook. Okay. I have a group page. Mm -hmm. It's called Appalachian Eco Baskets. And uh, they can go on there and contact me that way also. Let me image your sign here. Appalachian Eco Baskets. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping. You're watching Cartersville Live. I'm David Klein with CNC Exterminators, a second generation pest control company from here in Cartersville. We've been servicing the Bartow and surrounding counties for over 40 years. We specialize in residential and commercial pest control and termite services. We offer free inspections, so if you're currently having a problem or just need expert advice, please give us a call at 770-382-2223 at 770-382-2223. Thank you. It's back. Employee pricing for everyone on every new Kia in stock, only at Metro Kia in Cartersville. Now through Monday, you pay what we pay on every new Kia in stock. Save thousands, hundreds to choose from, all with employee pricing. And get Metro Kia's exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile nationwide warranty on all new and pre-owned. Don't miss it. Employee pricing for everyone at Metro Kia in Cartersville. You pay what we pay. Right here at Metro Kia in Cartersville. The Quilt Show. How are y'all? We're doing great today. <laughs> now you're Joan and you're Peggy. Right. That's great. Nice to meet you. Now, can you show me around in here a little bit? This is the, hold on, let me just look at your quilts, but let me see here. Now you say these right here are newer quilts that I'm newer looking for? Newer quilts. Mm -hmm. Like newer, like made this year, or last couple of well, years? Well, um, <laughs> to a quilter, you know, sometimes you started them several years ago and then they're finished, you know, recently, but... Uh, uh, so a quilt might take a couple years oh, to make? sometimes more than that, but some quilters are faster quilters than that. Well, but if you're uh, fast, how long does it take, take you to make oh, one? Oh, my goodness, maybe a year. A year? Yes, and what people don't realize is uh, today's quilter usually, they are for, for, we do use them for warmth. In the old days, the older ones, if you look at those. T walk me over there, okay. let's look at them, yeah. All right. These are the older ones. Now you say older, what, what, what's the age? One that was from the 1800s, I think. You've got some from the 1800s? This one from years old. It's over 100 years old. I'll give you $20 right now. Uh, these aren't for sale. <laughs> <laughs> We're just displaying these. These belong to other people. Now you're not, I can't touch these. You can't touch no. these. Not without a plastic glove. Why, because, why is that? Well, you're, you're, of course, a lot of people have been eating here at this point. Right, carnival, oh, absolutely. But um, you're, you have acid and, okay. and oils in your body. Mm -hmm. This is it, 1800s. Mm -hmm. and, how did, how did y'all come by it? Uh, well, one of our club members brought it to be displayed. It was a family area. Oh, so this is, belongs to a family. Oh, they're yes, they're going to take this home with them. All of these belong to other people. And they just, in the, festival asked our club, the uh, Cords Crossroads Homemakers Club, to uh, have a quilt show. So the people in the community and our members just brought their treasures and uh, wanted to share with us and with the people that have come to see them. They, and, um, these are beautiful. They're very... If, if 
you can focus on that one there. Okay, this that one one's right here? Hand, with the tiny pieces, it's hand pieced and okay. hand quilted. Now that, a work like that probably took a long, long time. And I'm not sure what the day on that one You mean like happened. years? Yes. yes. And, and, and you gotta remember in those days, they didn't, probably didn't have electricity. They were right. probably sewing and quilting by candlelight or right. with uh, an oil lamp. 1920. 1920. 1920. Mm -hmm. So a, a quilt is a, a work of art. Uh, some of them you notice that the, the design's not what, what they made it for. They made it to keep warm. Mm -hmm. But as time went by, um, people took an interest in making them colorful. And, a lot of them were made from feed sacks, flour sacks. Now, is this just by whatever you come by? I mean, just... It... Well, this one was what's called a string quilt. The okay. women didn't waste anything. If they had just a tiny piece of fabric, they saved it and, and That's what this is. Right, just... right. And um, sometimes just randomly, you know. And then they came back and did the ornate hand embroidery stitches, which nowadays... See, so this one was from 1939. Yeah, this is not by a machine. You no, can tell because no, no, they're not at all. Hand done. Hand done. You can tell by looking at it. Yes. Yeah. And this one was complete. This is 1939. All these stitches are hand done. That's why it takes years. Mm -hmm. And you go from that to the more modern well, ones. Well, just like back here, uh, I'm, my name is Peggy Dempsey. Hey, Peggy. And this uh, quilt here mm -hmm. is. Uh, my husband's grandfather, he was a minister at this church. And so the ladies of the church, and this was like a uh, hundred years ago, the ladies in the church all made a squares for a quilt and they all put their names on this. If you come around here, you can. Mm -hmm. Right here. And they did this in 1941. That was during wartime. Is. is it ever too late to learn how to quilt? No. We hope to be able to at our club. We're going to try to have some classes coming up this summer to teach young people and young women or young men if they want to learn how to do this again, cause it's an art form. Yes it is. This is an art. I mean, you just look around and look at the beauty. How many squares is in that one, Joan? The one in the center. The one in the center is what, 187? 180 squares. To make that. Center. And the, um, the ones displayed up here are, are not as old as these. And some were made by machine, pieced by machine, and then quilted by machine. But the majority of those up there, I think, were hand quilted. All right, what's the name of your club? McCord's Crossroads Homemakers Club. Oh, we're, no. we're right across the Alabama-Georgia line, in Forney, Alabama, really. And uh, we have, uh, that organization's been going on for, what now, 30-something years, isn't it? 75 this 70. year. Seventy-five years this year. Beautiful. Easy, anyway, and uh, or, no, it's not that long. No, twenty-five. Twenty-five. I knew it ended in a five. Say, twenty-five. 30, uh, Twenty years. Been about then. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to. We've got to look that up. It's a celebration this year. We just hadn't started on it. Thank you very much. We appreciate you doing this. Hello, my name is Mary Glass. I'm the owner of the Herb Shop of Cartersville on Main Street. I've been here since 1993. I've served the community all these years and would love you to stop by and see us and see our store. This is my daughter, Bria. She helps me run the store now. We welcome you to come in and educate yourself on the quality of Nature Sunshine products and the benefits of whole food vitamins and visit historic downtown Cartersville. Thank you all. Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Queen. And I'm Michael Queen. We are the Realty Queen and team at Ashton Taylor Realty. We do specialize in homes that do not sell the first time around. If your home has expired in this seller's market, that is a huge problem. You owe it to yourself to interview more than one agent 
call a professional that is strong to negotiate on your behalf to net you the most amount of money and sell your home in the least amount of time possible. Our actions create results. We have a great marketing plan. Please contact us. We'd love to come out and check out your home and get you listed on the market and get sold in a timely manner. Everybody look who it is. It's Brandon Bryson. Good to see you, Brandon. Good to see you, David. All right. You are the Chief Magistrate Judge here in Bartow County. You've been doing this for what? Going on six months? Six months now. How's it going? I love it. I, I wake up every morning looking forward to my job. Um, I work with great people. I get to work with great people in the community. And uh, I actually say I, I love my job. How dependent are you are on your employees? I mean, do they? how long have they been here? Oh my goodness, they range, but most of my employees have been here for quite some time. Uh, my chief clerk has been here the longest, Monica. She's been here 26 years. Uh, other you... clerks have ranged from around 10 years to 6 years. Uh, two of my full-time judges have been here over 4 years. Uh, I depend a lot on them, especially moving from the transition from practicing lawyer into the judge's role and then having to be head of this department over the administrative role as well. Uh, coming in with an experienced staff has made the world of difference. Have you got it down yet? I don't want to say that because you say you got it down, it's going to come crashing down. <laughs> Knock on wood, things things are running well. Uh, and, and you mentioned the staff, due to them being so experienced and helping with the learning curve and helping with the day-to-day -day operations, I've been able to focus on some of my goals for the office. Mm. And I was able to achieve some of those sooner rather than later, which I'm very pleased and I couldn't have done it without them. How have you improved what's going on in the magistrate court? Well, I gotta say, one, it was, it was I got it from good hands. Right. And that also made a big difference. I didn't have any messes to clean up. Mm -hmm. I just got to build upon what Judge Mosley and his administration has done for the past several years. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I want to focus on, though, is making us a little more accessible. And we are one of the more accessible courts, as we should be, since we are considered the people's court. But we are open from 7 a.m. to 5.30, and I can't take credit for that. The, Judge Mosley made those the hours years ago when it, during his first term, I believe, um, we maintained those hours so people could come in before they go to work or after they get off work and not have to take time from their jobs and lose their hard-earned pay just to make several trips back to the court. But I wanted to build upon that, and I, we actually have an operating website now. Uh, we have online filing that we like to make people aware of now where you can file your case from the comforts of your own home without having to make two or three trips to our office. We have a lot of our forms available online. We have instructional videos online, how to present your case. Uh, it talks about the jurisdiction of our court. What does the magistrate court do? We have videos on um, what type of evidence we can hear and how to present your evidence. Anything to make the person's experience here a little easier because the law could be very daunting with somebody who, who's never studied it. So this is okay here to be your own lawyer? Yes, it is. You can show up with or without a lawyer here. Mm -hmm. And, and you don't look say, down on them. You don't look down, okay, you're just crazy for not having an attorney. It's just... No, because that's pretty much the tradition of this court. It okay. Was, it, was, it came out of a small claims, justice of the peace court. It's what it began as in 1983 when the new Georgia Constitution was ratified. They created this magistrate court. Because a lot of times it's, it's small claims, what's well, considered small claims, but really, to the everyday person, it is not a small claim. It is civil claims up to $15,000. Mm. Uh, and, and a whole other host of um, cases we hear, including landlord-tenant cases, evictions, abandoned car liens, uh, local ordinance court, domestic violence court, 
we signed the warrants. So we try to be accommodating to the public because traditionally that's what the role of this court was. Over the years, of course, the role has expanded. And, and I always advise people, if you need legal advice, do consult an attorney because it's very important. Mm -hmm. You don't want to lose a case uh, just because you are unaware. I try to eliminate some of that as much as possible. I try to tell people, okay, when you come to court, be sure to bring all your evidence. Be sure to bring your witnesses. I don't want somebody to lose just because they came and didn't think to bring the proper items they need to prove their case. And I try to explain to the people before the case starts how it's going to happen and try to put them at ease. And I just try to let them understand what's going on and make them feel comfortable. Because when you're dealing with when your housing is on the line or your personal freedom or your paycheck is on the line or your small business, it's a nerve-wracking thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And you're dealing with... People that have this on the line, so we, we try to be compassionate here and understanding while maintaining, you know, the law. Everybody, it's Brandon Bryson. Congratulations, Salsa. You've had a great year. It's been bought a new, bought a bought a, uh, a new home. Yes, sir. Baby on the way. Baby on the way. When's July fourth. That is very exciting. Your first child. Yes, sir. Baby Caroline will be here in a few weeks. <laughs> Baby Caroline, that is. Yes. Uh, you gonna take a few, a little. You gonna take a week off or anything? Or yes, I'll, I'll probably take some time. I'm sure mother will need their her rest and uh, need some help with a new baby. And luckily, uh, grandmother and grandfather are anxious to uh, spoil well, this baby rotten. I bet. Yes, I bet. Sir. Everybody, it's our Chief Magistrate Judge Brandon Bryson. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, David. Good morning. Welcome to Treasure Chest. This is a beautiful day in Cartersville, Georgia. Come on in. Let me show you a few things we got going on here at Treasure Chest. We have this live edge table with four chairs, a bench for $12.99. You can't find that anywhere. Hey, it's rocking season. We've got rockers for your porch starting at 119. Come on by and get you one. Rock your life away. We have reclining sets starting at 11.99 for two piece. We have recliners starting at 249. We have dining tables at 199. We have a large selection of good quality furniture that's ready to be used again that comes in by consignment. We're located at 927 North Tennessee Street in beautiful Cartersville, Georgia, just outside the North Georgia Mountains. Come on by and see us at Treasure Chest. You just never know what you're going to find. Thanks for stopping by Treasure Chest. At Farmers, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything, even mermuts. And we covered it February 3rd, 2016. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. I'm Richard Carson, your local farmers insurance agent, right here on North Bartow Street, Cartersville, Georgia. Hi, I'm Don Weathers with 24 Bell Bond. We're located on Zena Drive, just right down from the jail. You can't miss me with this big, bright yellow building and the red trim. And there's my phone number right there. Put it in your phone. Keep me on speed dial. You never know when you're going to need me. But I guarantee you when you do, I'm going to treat you like family. And we're going to get you out of jail no matter where you're at in the state of Georgia. We have several locations. So it doesn't matter what you're charged with or where you're at. We're going to come to your rescue. We're going to get you out of that old stinky jail. You call me 770-382-2424 and we'll be there when you need us. These are some of the best looking bird houses I've ever seen. Now, do birds actually live in them? Yes, these are actual functional houses. Um, 
their uh, blue bird or any of the smaller birds can get in them and they do all have clean outs. And we can put any of them on a post if people need them. You want them on a post? Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem like a bad price either. $35 for no, a No, we usually price them for people. If they really want them, they can afford them. I say the best looking bird houses I've ever, hold on to me. So if I put one of these in the backyard, a bird's going to move into it. Possibly, yes. <laughs> you know, I don't, you may have, you know, um, birds that might not like it. Right, right. Or they might be too big for the hose. They're very showy houses, yes. yeah, bird houses. Very... It's pretty anyway if they don't. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. And the price is reasonable. Thank you. Thank you. SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. It's back! Employee pricing for everyone on every new Kia in stock, only at Metro Kia in Cartersville. Now through Monday, you pay what we pay on every new Kia in stock. Save thousands, hundreds to choose from, all with employee pricing. And get Metro Kia's exclusive 20-year, 200,000-mile nationwide warranty on all new and pre-owned. Don't miss it! Employee pricing for everyone at Metro Kia in Cartersville. You pay what we pay. Right here at Metro Kia in Cartersville. Blake, how are you? Nice to meet you. Let me show your. Now you make these. I make everything's handmade. Everything's 100% handmade knives. This knife I'm looking at right here is a Coca Bola handle with 440C stainless steel. And that's right here. What's this? That is a, a 1095 that's been uh, patina with uh, olive wood. And you make this? I do. Everything's handmade. 100%. That's a work of art. That's beautiful. Thank you. How'd you get into something like this? Uh, my granddad, he uh, started making knives. Well, I call him my grandfather. Uh, he uh, met him at a hardware store and asked him one day to make knives. And he said, yeah, and uh, been making them for about 20 years now. 20 years? 20 years. You just started messing around and now you just go to all the shows and stuff I like do this? mostly the ones around Rome. Do, I do this every year. So I'm, uh, this is about the fifth or sixth year I've been here. Now this is not cheap. No, they're about 175 to 200 dollars, and it comes with a you know, six ounce leather sheath that made made to the knife. Mm -hmm. So one size fits it. Is this something that'll last a lifetime? I mean, is yes, this a 100 percent lifetime warranty on it. Uh, you get free knife sharpenings. Uh, if you ever have any problems with anything, you let me know. Uh, fix it. Uh, if, you, if you break it, you shouldn't break it because they're five thirty seconds thick. But if you ever do any kind of like, if you break the tip of the knife, I can you know, re grind it and make it look you know, original again. Now, from in a store, I could probably buy something similar in look as far as the blade. Oh. You know what I mean? For a lot cheaper. Right. What's the difference? These are handmade. Uh, handmade. handmade. Take they come from a bar steel. Right. The ones you buy in a store are stamped out from a press, so they're all computerized. You know, there's no pretty much no hands on anymore. No hands on. This is. You'll not, you'll not find another exactly like this in the world. You'll never find another blade like that. I can make three of them that look just like that, and they're not going to be the same. There's going to be something. There different. are differences. Yeah. How to be? Where do you live? What area do you live? In? Uh, we're in Cedartown now, but originally from Rome. Uh, eventually, be back in Rome. But all the knives here are usually uh, on sale at Blue Sky in Rome. Blue Sky. I got a big display up there. Nice to meet you, Blake. Nice to meet you. Too. Thank you. Hey,